This is literally the worst bug morning I have seen in years. There are gnats and mosquitoes swarming me. It's warm. The water temperature is 78 degrees this morning. It's crazy. This is only February, end of February. I hope the trout respond, swarm as much as these bugs are. The second hit on the Cutter 90 jerk bait. We got hit twice in two casts there. It, nothing responded to the top water. Water temperature is definitely high enough for top water, but there we go. There we go. Yeah, so that's a pretty small fish. That's about a 11 inch fish. So that's probably why that's probably why I'm getting these hits without connecting these. This is a smaller group of fish here. There we go. Ah, oh, man. That was a much nicer fish. See that? Bigger class of fish here. That was probably a, like a 17, 16. The thing about this spot is when, on a, when the tide is coming in like it is right now, the, tr the, the trout will hang right up on the rocks. There we go. Oh, man. It's a good fish again. Nice class of fish here. I need to pull out my top water as well. Man, there's a bunch of nice fish up on these rocks. There we go. I'm gonna get this one in. Man, this thing is wild. It's one of the reasons I'm not getting them in there so active this morning. Yeah, so that's a that's a nice like 14 inch class. That's 15 probably right there. That's what's been hitting me. They're so active. It's a 78 degree water temperature that has a like they're on drugs they're so on speed yeah that's that was actually a 16 inch fish it's kind it's kind of a skinny fish but it is 16 inches i'm gonna keep that one though that's a nice it's a nice eating size fish i am gonna pull out the top water though because that is likely to to get to the largest of the fish. Although a 16 incher will definitely hit a top water. But I might have a chance at as big a, as as big of a class of fish as they have here. There we go. There we go. Oh that's that's a sizable fish right here. Oh that was probably the 20 inch fish. You know one problem right now is that they're actually too aggressive. So hard to get them in. They're like violently aggressive. I'm fishing here with a medium light power rod, which gives them, you know, that gives me more of an opportunity. There we go. This is a, this is a size, of, this is a nice, this is a nice fish, but it's not a... So that one's a 16 and a half. I'm telling you, these things are crazy. The water temperature is so high, and they are feeding insanely. I'm gonna stay, stick with this top water. This is the Berkeley Cane Walker top water. It's, it's got a, you can see it's got a popper front on it but you can walk it like a dog it does have balls in it so it makes it does make uh, 
a clatter, but the sound is more of a splashing than it is some of the something like a she dog, which is a, a lot of mechanical noise. Oh my god! These things are too freaking aggressive. Hey, I'm gonna be waiting on that video, John. Okay. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Hey, what you throwing? I'm throwing a topwater cane walker from Berkeley. Okay. Topwater, huh? Yeah, topwater. The jerk baits are hitting. They're hitting jerk baits too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been using lately. Okay. They're a little too aggressive this morning, though. They they're so wild. They throw themselves off the hook. I just need to figure out how to keep these trout on the hook hooked up. They're hitting this top water well like that right there. Look at that. Off again. Oh man. Oh my god. They're just crazy. There's there is literally a feeding frenzy going on here. I'm not sure how many hits I had or how many fish were after that bait. But they were kicking it three feet and forward and then another fish would take it. This is a big Now that's a 17 incher. Nice fish. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go. I'm going to release it to Make a mega spawn for 2023. I know there's got to be a couple 20s in here. I know I had hold of one briefly. Another blow up. Just got to connect with that 20 incher. That would make my day. Man, if I don't get a strike now in two, two casts, it feels like the world has ended. It has been so insane here the last what probably 10 minutes but you know that's how it goes there was a a school of fish here hey if uh, if you catch a 20 inch trout take a picture and release it and turn it into release over 20 we really want to try to get some uh, excitement going around on the uh, building a, a, a leaderboard for Louisiana. It's a really good chance to, you know, these, these are not trophy trout, but these are trout that are not often caught. And so we can get a little, it's not a tournament, but it's a little bit of a, of a buzz and a little of excitement about catching some larger fish. And you get it recorded and you can, uh, you know, you can see your name up there. So, it's definitely worth the time. There's going to be some some giveaways as well for it uh, once the program comes out in full. That's a 13 incher on the 27 uh, 17MR. That one I'm going to keep. Now there is a sizable fish. That one is not a 13. That's that's a good fish. Just trying not to lose this one. This one is a close to an 18. If I can sling this one in. Oh, this might be a 20. This might be a 20. Holy mackerel. Look at that fish. There you go. That's a nice fish on a little lure. Right on 20. I got my 20 incher. It's right on 20 inches. I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna put it on the release over 20 board. Get my name on there and get ready, send this one back so we can get a mega spawn in 2023. So that 20 inch trout, that trout I just released, 
if it can survive all of 2023 the whole spawn it could it could produce 10, 10 million eggs as many as 10 million eggs you know a lot of variables in vowel but uh, that's a significant spawner so I hope that that release will incrementally improve the spawn which we need for this coming year and uh, I finally got that 20 incher and on that small 17 there we go oh this is a good fish too what in the world this is also a good fish only like a 18 so I just checked the salinity it's about 8 PPT and I've been struggling lately the last few times out with everything being fresh just pr practically zero salinity so I think that's definitely part of the reason I'm finding some larger trout in that 20 inch trout Got to have a little bit of salinity for them. Anyway, great morning, and uh, I got that 20 inch trout I've been looking for. So uh, everything be, uh, bu everything beyond that's just gravy frosting on top. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you again later.